was thinking about, you know, Chairman Mao and the communist regime and, you know, 1931 Japanese invasion of Manchuria. There was this chain of events that led to communist overthrow in, in 1949. And, you know, Mao is responsible for 80 plus million deaths. Mm. And the way that possibly Chinese medicine was impacted by communism in China. How do you, how do you see that with your intuition, with your education, looking back and connecting the dots to now, if there was a shadow of, of, of Chinese medicine impacted by mm -hmm. the communist regime, mm -hmm. truly like one of the most brutal things on yeah. earth right now. Yeah. That's still, I, I just can't even believe that people wear suits and smile with a trail of blood behind them. It's just so insane it that is. we can allow this to, to continue. Yeah. What do you make of that as a, as a practitioner of Chinese medicine? I think going back to like the cultural revolution in China, like I believe that was like 66 to 77, maybe don't quote me on that, but talking to some of my teachers that were born and raised in China and lived through that, that they lost a lot of the esoteric lineage of Chinese medicine. Like a lot of the deep wisdom that had been passed generationally because they, they were trying to almost be seen as more Westernized. And so there's this interesting thing that's happened over the last 30, 40 years is I think to be seen as legitimate in the world, like becoming more Western in China and then the East, uh, oh, sorry, the, the West here, like we've almost become more Eastern a little yeah. bit that a lot of us are into, you know, Buddhism and breath, breath work, work and yeah. meditation and yoga and all these things. So there's been yeah. this interesting kind of swap in the planet a little bit. And so in, in the, the history of Chinese medicine, obviously it's like thousands of years long, a lot of the energetics were like pulled out of that. And so the Chinese medicine that I got taught was, I believe sort of the watered down mechanized like Western version of an Eastern tradition. Not that we still didn't learn really, really good ideas about, you know, acupuncture meridians, but there is so much more. So mm -hmm. I ended up doing, uh, I've taken so many courses now, but um, over the years I, I got into this course called classical Chinese medicine versus traditional Chinese medicine. And some of the people that were teaching that were saying the difference between classical Chinese medicine and traditional Chinese medicine is everything. And that was eye opening of what do you mean? Yeah. What's like, the I, I think I've, I've learned straight from like Chinese speaking medicine doctors that were trained in, and born in China. You mean I'm missing a whole bunch? And they were saying, yeah, all, all of it. You're missing so much. Huh. So as I dove into that a little bit more, what some of those teachers were teaching was the things that had been lost or very held like in, in secret because they needed to be protected. And then finally coming to the light and saying, hey, this is time to teach this stuff now. We can't keep this secret anymore. And so some of those practitioners, I, I didn't meet them in person. And, you know, being uh, in China is, is something that I would love to go and do. I was scheduled to go to China years ago when I was doing my doctor program and we ended up having my daughter instead. And so I, you know, stayed behind and became a parent. But uh, I got to learn firsthand from some of my colleagues that went of some of their experiences. And then years later, studying classical Chinese medicine, where they would get into the energetics even more than what I was taught. And these aspects of some of the guys that were still doing treatment that are like 115 years old and seeing pictures of them. And they would say, oh, the younger doctors who are actually like 85 years old, but they look like they're 60, tons of energy, you know, the beautiful little beards and like happy, full of that like chi and vitality because you could see it in their eyes, mm. you know, and we call that the Shen, the spirit. You can see that through somebody's eyes and they would have so much energy just in their presence and doing acupuncture for four or five or six or eight generations that have been passed down. That's kind of where I'm going in the future of wanting to learn from those people by osmosis. And if you're 115, you've learned some things. Yeah, You've learned how to master some energy and not just be um, unhealthy, but be beautifully radiating energy and wisdom at that age Dude. there's there's magic in that and th those are things we just didn't get exposure here or we didn't get taught those things so it's it's coming i'm i'm you know developing that in myself over time but i would love to learn more about the classical you know history the classics are always the best check out some of the videos on this screen that are perfectly curated based on the video you just saw make sure you follow me and i'll see you in the next video